name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
we split for both the linear and corner for recovery from target payment for the numerous blessings and granting US visa. Following other petitions, we split for the following petitions for harassment at workplace by the senior, for an eight year old boy having high fever and is in critical condition, to get back rightful possession of the property, for a marriage on the verge of divorce and ask for reconciliation and healing to save the marriage, for an 80 year old, 80 month old girl having a low blood count post COVID, for a lady whose both kidneys are failed and is on dialysis, for a person in post stage cancer and in hospital, for a good life partner, for visas for overseas, for persons suffering from prostate cancer, COPD, bone cancer, and a four year old child with blood cancer and various other types of cancer, for a lady suffering from, from liver cancer and in a critical condition, and for a lady having to inspire surgery today. I can not insisted that it's continue to place before God our prayers of thanksgiving and distributions that is caused for a wide of in silence. Now we now prayers together. O Mother of Perpetual Sucker, we hold me of this little sinner at thy feet. I have reposed to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call my own, the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Suffer me for the love of Jesus Christ. Send for that I to be a poor sinner, who recommends and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant. I bless him thy God for having this mercy. Give me this confidence in thee. The pledge as I believe of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I have not reposed to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest in the occasion of falling I should cease to call upon thee and so should lose my soul. This then is the place I seek from thee. And I pray with thee as far as I know how it can to obtain it for me, namely the source of hell, or which to have reposed to me, I could say to thee, O oh, let me help me, mother of perpetual succor, suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, they tell me from grace the Lord is with thee, lest thou thy arms with it. And bless is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Father of perpetual succor, may you hear the Lord praise the Lord is with thee. Bless thou thy mouth's women, and bless is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Father of perpetual succor, Blessed are thy arms women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Together, Holy Mary, suffer the miserable, get the pain hearted, cheers to those that speak, pray for the people, be the advocate of the clergy, intercede for all devout women, that all feel thy name, who endure thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us to lady a refuge. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy common merit, whose wondrous image we venerate, to be our mother, ever ready to suffer us, God, we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore a better aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the proof of thy redemption, who lives and reigns. World without end. Amen.
have to know what poverty is. To know what poverty is, we have to experience poverty. And to experience poverty, we have to live a life of poverty. My dear brothers and sisters, most of us know about poverty. The question is, do you and I really know what poverty is? You and I likewise know about Jesus. The question is, do you and I really know Jesus? To know him, we have to experience him. To experience him, we have to live the life that he lived. So my dear brothers and sisters, how do you and I know the life that Jesus lived? We simply have to open the Bibles in our home, read, reflect, and pray. Because it is the Bible and the scriptures that reveal to us who Jesus is. It reveals to us what you and I should do to know and experience Him. And it shows us the way to live a life, the life that Jesus lived. So my dear brothers and sisters, today that we have gathered here, and if at all you and I have a personal time of prayer with the Lord, we should reflect today on this question, not from our head, but from our heart. Who is Jesus to you and to me? And let us ask for Mother Mary for the grace to open the scriptures, to read the scriptures, to experience Jesus, and to make every effort to live like the way Jesus lived. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the moment of prayer. This is the moment of grace. Let's close our eyes, bow our heads in humility before God, and ask of Him for the grace to answer to this question, who do you say I am? The memorandum together. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any part of fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of Birth incarnate, despise not my petitions. But in thy mercy, God will answer me. Amen. Exposition and prayer before the Blessed Sacrament together. Merciful Lord, whose mercies are without number and whose goodness is without end, you abide with your people in wondrous manner and are with us all things even to the end of time. By your kindly presence, direct our minds. With your guiding love, watch over our paths. With your powerful help, deliver us from every tribulation from all danger and sin, that we may on earth always live with you, and in you, and in your eternal dwelling, enjoy your presence forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Lord, hear my prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body. And by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. 
May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. To the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Sucker, may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. The divine praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, it is angels and it is saints. <laughs> Oh, 